I'm going to use just a little bit of a cheater method to do this. Now, I've cut my baker's twine. There's twice, and then I've got a little bit of a tail hanging off there. And, um, okay, so just a little bit extra. And I'm going to go down towards one end of this. And I've got a, just a plain needle and some plain thread that I know that will go through my beads. If I'm the opening in my thread here. Okay, so I've got it like that. There we go. All right, now then, I've already got one of these on here, so make sure that I knew what I was doing. I'll pick up one of my smaller beads, and then it just slides right through. Now, I don't want to pull it off to the end, that's for sure. So, uh, let me see how many of these I need to put on here. And I don't want to do the same configuration that I already have. And some of these beads might be a little bit too large. Okay, I think I need one more on there. Uh, let's see. It's, it should not be that hard of a decision. Find the hole. Okay, I think that's going to be about right. All right, take this off. All right, so this one is in one of sort of one of the signature the middle signatures <clears throat> so i think i'm going to go to this first signature to do this one don't let my beads slide off You can do this at the top or the bottom. It doesn't really matter. I'll go ahead and do this one at the top, at the bottom. Now, I'm going to tie this, and then I'm going to turn it and show you what I've got. Okay? And I'm going to do three, uh, like a double. All right? And if there's too many beads on there, it won't get tight. So you don't want to get too, too much. All right. So on the inside... I'm in the first signature, and this is what it looks like on the inside. So there's my cord, there's my knot, and I'm going to bring this, I'm going to work this around just a little bit. And I actually could just do this on the inside like that, but I wanted to make sure that nothing was going to turn loose on me. And then loop it through again, one and two. Make sure I'm keeping that nice and tight. Bring that down. Now then you could leave this as tails at the bottom and hang a couple of more little beads on the bottom of it. Or you can bring it into the middle, which is what I've done on this middle one, and then just cut the little ends off. Or you could put it over the top and it's going to be like a little bookmark. Okay, so some just some suggestions on how to do that. So that's how it looks on the back. All right, I'm going to finish doing the rest of these. The back is all done, and I'm carefully removing this cord that I put in here to hold the signatures in to start off with. There we go. It slides out. So there's my, all my beads. And I've got danglies here. I'm going to add some more things onto this. I'm not for sure what all I'm going to put. But anyway, and then so I'm going to add some more things onto this. And just give you a little kind of quick flip through. I'm talking really quick. Now, 
and then I'll put some little tag journaling tags in here in this middle part to talk about my inspiration what I was thinking what I was praying all right there it is thanks so much for watching oh I'm gonna add I've got this little thing I'm gonna add one more little section uh, two little cards that was done that was six, day 61 and then I just I had this one left over but I need two more little cards to put right there and I may write something about this thank you for watching